Hello, this is Math 6, Lesson 4-8, Understand Dependent and Independent Variables. In this lesson, we'll be able to identify dependent and independent variables. Have you ever received uh, a package or have you ever shipped a package? Let's look at explain a question to see a problem about shipping. Max is shipping a present to his grandmother. Oh, okay. What are three factors that will affect the weight of the box? What are three factors that will not affect the weight of the box? Okay, so when he's shipping a package, if you have ever shipped a package before, what will affect the weight of the box? Just thinking about the box. The dimensions, yes, this is the width, the height, and the length of the box, right? And also, what about the materials? Yes, what box is made up of, right? So dimensions. Length, width, and height. And um, three factors. What did we talk about? What box is made up of, right? Material of the box. If box is a heavy metal box, that's going to be heavier than a paper box, right? What else? What else makes the box heavy? Yeah, what's inside? Okay. So if you just, you know, pack uh, clothing versus lots of books, Obviously the books are gonna be heavier than like a sweater, right? What are three factors that would not affect the weight of the box? Factors that affect was the first one, okay? What are, what are some factors that do not affect the weight? Does it matter when you ship. If you have a set price tag, um, it doesn't matter what time of the day you come in. The time of the day. Or it doesn't matter. What else doesn't matter? Some unrelated information. Okay where uh where the box was made right where the box was made does it matter where the box was made if you have the same materials no right it doesn't matter where the box was made okay what else doesn't matter What doesn't affect the weight of the box? How much you love grandma, okay. Um, how much, or how much, how much the presents in the box are? How much the materials, how much the, how much the things, in the box. Right? Yeah, there are some things that do not affect the weight of the box. How might the size of the box and the contents of the box affect the weight of the box? Well, if the box is bigger, does it get more expensive or it, does it get cheaper? Yeah, if you send more things, you need to pay a little bit more or a lot more, right? 
So you can say the bigger the boxes, the more Um, the more expensive, or we're, we're thinking about the size of the box and the contents of the box. The bigger the box is, the more you can um, put things in the box. Okay, and the heavier the box is, The more expensive. Okay, we're thinking about some relationships of these factors. So focus on math practices. Describe another situation in which changing one factor results in changing to another factor, which means there are some factors that are related. And so if you change one factor, the another factor that's related to this factor will also change because of this factor, okay? So for example, what are, what are some uh, situations where if you do this, this also happens? Okay, if you if you sleep less, the more tired you are. Um, okay, uh, the less you sleep, the the more I, you get. Okay, so sleeping hours and your body fatigue is related. And there are a lot of other factors that are that are related. So write them down. <clears throat> so in this lesson, we're gonna think about what does it mean for one variable to be dependent on another variable? There's gonna be factors that are dependent on another factor. Let's look at example one, dependent and independent variables. An orchard sells apples by the pound. Each day, a P pounds of apples are sold and the amount of money taken in M is recorded. Which variable, P or M, depends on the other variable, okay? So think about which one depends on another, which one doesn't depend on the other. Each day, P pounds of apples are sold, okay? P is pounds of apples. And the amount of money is another factor, M, okay? Does it matter how much you sell? Does, does the money depend on how much you sell? Yeah, what about how, uh, what about the amount of apples sold? Uh, amount of money taken in, does it, does, does it matter? Like which one affects which one? Which one is dependent? Apples, amount, how much you sell uh, will affect how much money you get, right? How much money you get in the first place will be dependent on how much apples, how many apples you are selling. So when you think about how total cost is dependent on the amount of amount and price of items sold, you are reasoning quantitatively, <clears throat> which is good, okay? A dependent variable changes in response to another variable. So one variable is gonna be dependent. An independent variable causes the dependent variable to change. So another factor is gonna be independent. One is dependent, one is independent. Amount of money M taken in depends on the number of pounds. So M is dependent variable. The number of apples sold P affects the amount of money taken in M. So P is the independent variable. P doesn't matter, okay? It's uh, how much you sell affects 
the amount of money taken in. Okay. So let's look at try question and let's think about the dependent and independent variables. A baker used a certain number of cups of batter B to make P pancakes. Which variable P pancakes or B batter is the dependent variable? Which one depends on which one? Okay, think about the, what does what affects another? Okay. Batter. You make you make pancakes using batters. So the more batter you have, the more pancakes you will have. What does that mean? The number of pancakes you have depends on the number of batter. Right? So which one is the dependent variable? The amount, the number of pancakes. P depends on the number of cups of batter. B. So P is the dependent variable. Okay, convince me, if the baker doubled the number of cups of batter used, B, what would you expect to happen to the number of pancakes made, P? Explain. Okay, if he doubles the number of cups of batters, um, what happens to pancakes? Pancakes also doubles. You make double amount of pancakes because you have double cups of batter, right? And that's why it's a dependent variable. Okay. Explain. Because P is the dependent variable. <clears throat> the number of pancakes depends on the number of cups of batter. So if B cups of batter make uh, P pancakes, then two B cups of batter will make two P pancakes, okay? Let's look at example two. Multiple independent or dependent variables. There might be more than one independent or dependent variables. Let's look at this question. A bike shop rents beach cruiser bikes and mountain bikes. Customers can rent these items by the day or the week. What are the independent and dependent variables involved in the cost of the rental? So first, we're gonna identify the variables involved in the cost of rentals. There are many variables. We got beach cruiser, cruiser and we can say that's B, mountain bike, M, length of rental, L, price per day, D, price per week, W, total rental cost, T. That's a lot of factor, right? Which one is independent, which one is dependent? So step two, we're gonna, we're gonna see whether the variables are independent or dependent. Beach cruiser, is it independent or dependent? It's depending on the rate per day or week, okay, this one. So price per day, price per week, they're different. So it's dependent on the rate per day or week. It's a dependent variable. Mountain bike, it's also dependent on the rate per day or week. Length of rental L, is it dependent on anything? If you pick beach cruiser or mountain bike, does, does it mean you're gonna, you're gonna rent this number of hours? Does everyone get to get to choose, uh, get to not choose their own length of rental? 
No, so it's independent. Length of rental is independent and causes. It causes the total rental cost to change, okay? This is the independent variable. Okay, it's not affected by anything. Depending on the rent of rental, your cost changes. Price per day is also independent, okay? Because it's, it's set. Price per day is set. It affects other variables, okay? So total rental cost will change depending on price per day and the length of rental. Also price per week if they choose price per week. Total rental cost, is that independent or dependent? Dependent on the bike type and the length of time rented. So there are two factors that uh, affects total rental cost. So there can be more um, than one independent factors that affect uh, the a dependent variable like this, okay? Let's look at try question. Jenna wants to rent a mountain bike by the week. Identify the independent variables that affect the total rental cost. What are some variables that affect the total rental cost? Okay, what is it affected by? Total rental cost is dependent, right? Total rental cost is affected. Okay, they said we have to identify the variable. So let's write the, a variable. You can just pick any variable. The total rental cost, we can say C. or we can say T for total is affected by, she's gonna rent by the week, right? And of course the, the uh, total cost will depend on the, uh, on the bike and the length of time. So total rental cost for her is affected by the length, of the rental L and the price per week. What is the variable for the price per week? W. Okay. So for her, she picked uh she picked the week one. So this is weekly rental and the price per week, right? There you go. So let's summarize our lesson. Key concept, a dependent variable, remember, is that uh, the variable that changes in response to another variable. So it's depending on the independent variable. The independent variable, is not affected in that situation. So independent variable causes. If independent variable changes, dependent variable will also change. But independent variable is not dependent on anything. It's not affected by anything. Independent variable chooses its own. So it causes the change in the dependent variables and it's independent because its value is not affected by other variables, okay? And we looked at some good examples. And there's another example here. The distance car travels D is dependent on the speed S at which it, it travels. Speed is the independent variable and distance is, is the dependent variable. All right, that was lesson four dash eight, understand dependent and independent variables. We'll continue with the next lesson.